there YouTube. I am here with a tag video and this tag video includes girls from Ipsy OS. It's a group that I belong to and we are on a forum and a bunch of us got together and decided that we were going to do a tag. We all contributed some questions and one of the girls, Julia, came up with the final questionnaire. So I'm just going to read off of it. I haven't really, I kind of glanced at it, but I didn't really like study it. So I wanted to just, you know, get on here and give you whatever just comes to my head because usually that's the most sincere and so I'm just gonna start reading these questions all right and there are 20 questions I will try to go fast how old are you I am 40 and 40 and proud believe me I have earned my 40 years of life where are you from I am from Houston Texas do you have a nickname people call you probably you know within my family like we would call each other like what guy or, or uh, like my brother would call me punk or my dad would call me punk you know um, so when my brother sees me he's like hey what's up punk or whatever you know those are about you know, that's about his nickname as it gets maybe at work they call me chapara you know which is like shorty so or chaparita so those are probably my only nicknames I really don't have nicknames um, a friend of mine actually she does have a nickname for me no, actually, a Victoria's Secrets catalog came to me as Stevie. Something like that. So, one of my friends that I've known since kindergarten, she calls me Stevie. So, The next question, what is your favorite season? Right now, fall is my favorite season. I love the weather in fall. I love well, fall clothing. I love fall makeup. I just freaking love fall. Even though I'm in a tank top. Yeah, I'm in a tank top. It, I, and you probably hear like a buzz sound. That's my fan because I was doing my makeup and I didn't want to sweat because when it's cool outside, the AC really doesn't kick on. So yeah, um, fall time is my favorite season. Now my favorite holidays would definitely be Christmas, especially because of my children. But my favorite season is definitely the fall. Who is your celebrity YouTube crush? As far as YouTube like I have celebrity crushes, but like YouTube, I would say, but he doesn't go for my type. <laughs> he goes for men. Um, I would say like Alex Faction. Oh God, that man could do makeup. That man has that jaw. He's just sexy as hell. Oh, excuse me. He's just fine as hell. And yeah, Alex Faction. Oh baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably like twice his age, but whatever. What do you do for work? So I work for United Airlines, and I work on the ramp. I started this as a job just to work part-time there while I went to school, while I got my degree, when I was married to my first husband, and I'm still there, and things have changed. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have two dogs, and my dogs are pretty much senior citizens that I'm like one day one of them is gonna pass away and I'm gonna be the one to find him and it's really scary I have two dogs two little dogs a miniature beagle and a chihuahua and the miniature beagle is like my old man he's lost his hearing he's getting skinny but he's still going I mean he's not suffering so what is your biggest pet Ooh. what is your biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve is laziness I can't stand lazy people like I work at a job where you cannot be lazy like I am not gonna carry your load so don't be lazy and people that are lazy in life really piss me off that is my biggest pet peeve especially when a man is lazy now that really pisses me the F off I mean I'm just like dude grow some okay don't be lazy number nine what's the most you spent in one makeup shopping trip so this January, I was supposed to work with the photographer that I work with, and he was supposed to get me some gigs to do people's makeup. So I probably spent like $300, and that would have been my most that I've ever spent on makeup in one trip. Um, yeah, that was intentional. Like I went out and I set out to get certain things. So I spent $300 on one trip. Now, if you ask me like what, in one year, in one month, yeah, I've spent a lot of money. But in one trip, I think it was like $300. Do you prefer drugstore makeup or high-end makeup? Okay, so as far as foundations and uh, as far as foundations and blushes go, I 
really prefer high end because I have large pores now and I want my makeup to stay on my face and I haven't found a drugstore makeup that will do those things for me. So I appreciate high end makeup for that reason that, you know, most high end makeup is going to, there are high end makeup that, you know, sucks, but the high end makeup that I tend to buy is stuff that's going to work for me. And so I like uh, high end makeup as far as foundation and blush seems that I've be, kind of become a eyeshadow snob in certain ways where like most of my makeup is eyeshadows are high end but like I just worked with ColourPop uh, eyeshadows worked with I mean I just used ColourPop eyeshadows and those are only five dollars a piece and now they've even cheapened it where if you buy the quad it's eighteen dollars for four so I mean that's you know fairly inexpensive thing is you have to order it. it's not just something that you can say mom dad take me to the drugstore and get now drugstore lipsticks I love drugstore lip liners I love drugstore mascaras I love um I could buy I would if you said you can't buy a high-end mascara I'd be like okay um if you said you couldn't buy high-end lipstick I'd be like okay um so it just depends like there's certain products that like I just won't spend a lot of money on because mascaras, you know, they only last for so long, and lipsticks, you're always going to want to be in trend or, or want to have that, that current lipstick that's out. I tend to buy things that are less expensive on that end, when, and so I like drugstore. But like foundations and blushes, I'm definitely mostly using, I would say 90% of my makeup as far as blushes and foundations are going to be high end. Actually, I only own, I have a NYX um, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And I have the L'Oreal Infallible. Not L'Oreal Infallible, but L'Oreal True Match. When did you first start wearing makeup? Honestly, I think it was back in sixth grade. So in sixth grade, all the okay. So let's just let's just get real here. I was like into the chola type group. Okay, in sixth grade, I found this group of girls that were more like you know low rider type chola type, and I would hang out with them. And so the thing to do was to wear the Maybelline eyeliner that was in a red pencil that you had to like burn with a, I can't believe I was doing this at 11 years old. Yeah, was I 11? I was 11 years old and I was taking Maybelline eyeliners to school, probably stole it from my older sister, and with flashlights, or not flashlights, with um, lighters, I can't even think of the word. With a lighter, I would sit there and burn it, and then you would, like, put it on as eyeliner. And I might have worn lipstick or lip gloss, but I don't think I got a hold of that then. I think I just was able to get a hold of the eyeliner and not be discovered. So, yeah, about sixth grade. What do you love, hate about makeup? So, there's a lot of things I love about makeup. I love how makeup makes me look. I love how makeup makes me feel. I love to watch makeup videos. I I mean, I wouldn't be doing this for the last six years if I didn't love makeup, right? I mean, I do throw in other things, but my main focus is makeup, and I really enjoy putting on makeup. So that's what I love about makeup. Makes you just, blah, blah, blah. Makeup just makes you feel really good and really secure about yourself. Things I don't like about makeup are the fact that you have to spend so much money to fulfill this hoarding need. Most people may not, you know, buy as much makeup as I do, but, like, the thing I hate about makeup is maybe not makeup in general, but, like, the brands that keep coming out with all these things that I want. I'm like, I want that. And then, you know, and then I feel like a brat or a bad person because I want these things. And it's like, oh, food on the table or makeup in my, you know, no, I'm just kidding. Um, nobody goes hungry in this house. Okay, believe me. We wouldn't be, like, you know, chunky monkeys if we, I'm just kidding. My children are so damn skinny, but, like, that's just their... That, thank God they got that hereditary thing from their dad because they would be, um, you know, on the plus size like mommy. No, seriously though, they eat well. I don't take from anybody's lunch money. Like I say in my in my description box, if you've ever paid attention, that most of the products, like 99.9% .9 of the products that I present to you, I haven't gotten for free. Although I have gotten some influencer things for free lately, but that's about it. Like most of the stuff that I get, I purchase on with my own children's lunch money. That's it. Okay. Um, I digress. But yes, um, that's what I hate about makeup. Uh, that's what I hate about makeup. I mean, if that's something to really hate about makeup, I don't really hate makeup. Okay. 
Oh, no, I don't really hate makeup. Okay, so other than beauty, what else are you passionately into? Secret talents. Um, I can sing. That used to be a really good talent of mine. Throughout the years, I've kind of uh, let that go because, you know, um, your vocal cords and your singing ability is a fine-tuned skill, and this is a tool, and if you don't protect it and you don't use it, then you lose it. So I used to be a very good singer. I used to be a soprano one in school. I even went into the uh, college choir, and I loved that. And when I go karaoke, I can belt out some, like, really great tunes. But that would probably be my secret talent. Um, but honestly, what I, well, I mean, my family. I'm really into my family. My family is my passion. So if I'm not doing this whole YouTube-y, Instagram-y type thing, I'm with my children. I'm with my family. I'm with my husband. I'm with my stepdaughter. Um, with my mom or my sisters. Um, yeah, I... Those are my passions. I do have a um, obsession with keeping my home clean and having cute things on it, around in it. So that would be like, you know, crafting or um, buying things for my home. That would be another, like, obsession. But, yeah, basically I'm just passionate about my family other than YouTube. So, If you were upset and are unmotivated, how do you make yourself feel better? Putting on makeup. Putting on makeup makes me feel better. Like, I'll get into these ruts where I just, like, I don't want to do anything. I'm like, my YouTube channel's not going anywhere. Instagram's not going anywhere. Nobody sees this personality because I'm not, like, all, you know, in your face. When I make my YouTube videos, I'm kind of like, just, you know, here's my tutorial. That's it, you know, or here's my review. That's it. I try to keep it... Oh, I had. Uh. <coughs> Why didn't y'all? <laughs> Why didn't y'all tell me that? Why didn't y'all tell me? Okay. So, uh, what was the question? And then I'll just start putting on makeup, and I'll be like, oh, I'm in the mood to make a video, or I need to talk to people about this, or so. That's kind of what motivates me. Um, and then like my kids are my other motivation, but that's like a different kind of motivation. So. Uh, like if I'm just feeling like down in the dumps or whatever, or maybe I'm like, I'm fat or, I mean, you know, you, everybody has those days where you're like, mm, I didn't eat good. I'm fat ass, you know? So then I go and put some makeup on. I'm like, I'm beautiful. Oh yeah. I can, I can rock this look. So yeah, that's basically what motivates me. <clears throat> if you had a week of travel anywhere, all expenses paid, all expenses paid, where would you go? So there's a lot of places I would go. My husband has always wanted to go to the pyramids. Um, that would be neat. Maybe Bora Bora or just somewhere tropical where you're just in a hut in the middle of the ocean. But you have all the food and everything that you need around you. Um, I'd love to go to Greece. I'd love to go to Italy. I mean, I can do these things technically because I work at the airport. And these things are like really discounted for me, like flights. But um, we just hadn't made it that far, so... Yeah, um, honestly, I really like, I think I would want to go to Greece and just tour all of that. Like, that would be my dream vacation. Why and when did you start YouTube? So, I started YouTube back in about 2010, the end of 2010, right around this time, October, November. And I did it because I was watching, actually... I loved watching certain people, and they were younger than me, of course, but they were talented. And then I would watch these young, young girls, young girls, like teenage, way lo low teen girls, putting on all this crap on their face because they would see these other people doing that. And I'm like, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. You're a young girl. Why are you doing this? You don't need all that makeup on. And then I would see um, reviews, and I would know that product, and I would be like, "No, that product was shit. What are you What are you talking about? That product was not worth your money." So, at the time, my uh, my oldest, she was what two years old or something like that. Yeah, two years old because she's about to be eight. So I was like, you know, 
I'm a mother and I can't afford everything that comes out, especially then, like my husband and I were kind of struggling back then. Finances were just were not great. Um, so I was like, you know, if I'm going to invest my money in something, then I want it to be something that I'm going to really enjoy. It's going to be worth my, you know, money. Want it be worth my time? Going to be worth my effort? So that's the reason why I got into YouTube. I saw all these kids or these people that would just throw shit at your face and be like, "This is great," and I'm like, "No, it's not. It's not really. It's not really good stuff." So then I was like, "Let me just start making videos." the videos I would make because I would have to do it really late at night because I worked, you know, all day and then I would come home late at night and then I would put makeup on. The videos that I started out with, like I think I've deleted most of those or I've put them on private, were pretty horrific. Like they're, I mean, the lighting was crappy and I'm trying to be quiet. And originally my husband, it took a long time for me to confess, babe, I make YouTube videos. I don't know why I was embarrassed. I think I was embarrassed because I knew I was putting out shit quality and I just would started making these videos and then I think as time went by I'm like who cares I don't care if you don't like my video I don't care if my husband doesn't like my video this is who I am I'm crazy I'm loud um I am who I am so I was like that's why I'm gonna start making videos I just wanted to put maybe one person would take my review and be like oh okay well that is crap I won't buy it or Oh, let me see about it. And yeah, I remember this person saying that it was crappy. Let me take it back and get my money. Because I also saw that. Like, I still see that. These people that save all these products that didn't work for them, I'm like, why in the hell did you keep that? Take it back. I know a lot of these people have gotten a lot of this stuff for free, and that's why they can't take it back and get their money. But like, yeah, that's the reason why I started making videos. What advice would you give to someone starting a channel? My advice for someone starting a channel would be lighting because you really want to have good lighting. Um, <laughs> I, you know, um, I'm still working on my lighting. Like right now I could probably afford to have a couple other lights like at me, but this is what it is. And I would say you work on lighting. So either, you know, do it in the natural sunlight or um, get a couple of, let me show you my little cheat lamp. This little lamp right here is an LED that I got at Lowe's. It's really good. It's really bright and it's kind of like my supplemental light for uh, for my ring light. I have a ring light now and then I have this light here to kind of give me some warmth. So someone that's starting a new channel, I would say get, work on lighting. Be yourself. Be genuine. That That's my thing. Like be you. Be who you are. It's, it's not going to come across as sincere. And so I would just say be who you are. Lighting and um, yeah. If you have something you want to talk about, talk about it. And somebody might watch. Somebody will watch. <coughs> what are you trying to achieve with your channel? So basically... YouTube is just an outlet for me. You know, I've had two years ago, I lost my father. Um, I've struggled when I had my second child, uh, when I was pregnant with her. I struggled with um, prepartum depression. I, um, you know, I have girlfriends that aren't into makeup like I am. So I, this is like an outlet for me to be relatable to people that like the same things that I do. And in doing this, I have made two really awesome friends. One is named Gina and the other one is Prissy. And those are my girls. Those are who I talk to all the time, who I hang out with. And in doing YouTube, I have been able to make or create a relationship with two amazing, beautiful girls that I'm really excited about. Beyond that, I have created acquaintances or connections outside of the you know good old state of Texas that I really appreciate so um, yeah I just that's my goal of my channel is just to be relatable or to have that common bond with other people that enjoy the same thing that I do what or who who or what inspires you the most so honestly I wouldn't say that anyone inspires me in particular um, I enjoy like watching makeup videos and those inspire me like it doesn't it's not one particular person that I'm like oh she's my idol like I don't feel that way about anybody there are certain people that when they post a makeup video I'm like all about it like I'm watching it and um, 
but I would say what inspires me the most are is my family. Like I want to be a good mother. I want to be a good wife. I want to be a good friend. Um, so just, I guess myself, I inspire me like, because I want to be the best that I can for anybody that comes around me. So if you work with me, I want you to be like, damn, she's a great coworker. Um, she's hardworking. I trust in her. If you're my friend, I want you to trust in me. If you're my husband, I want you to trust in me. If you're my child, I want you to trust in me. So I guess I would say that I inspire myself because I'm always trying to achieve a better me. So there's a few things that I could always build, work on. Believe me, I know. You don't have to tell me my flaws. I already know those. But I try every day to work on myself. So I inspire myself. Number 20, what advice would you give to your younger self? Oh, gosh. So honestly, I have already started thinking and writing out and pulling pictures of a series that I want to do talking to my 15-year-old self, my 25-year-old self, and my 35-year-old self. And so I'm not going to go into too much detail on this question, but what I would say to myself is that time heals all wounds, there's plenty of fish in the sea, and love is everything. Because if you don't have love and you don't have compassion, then you're a bitter person. So that's basically what I would tell my younger self. The main thing is that time heals all wounds. Everything gets better within time because at that moment you're thinking that the world has crumbled on you and life sucks and you just want to curl up and disappear. It's not that day. It's not that way every day and you will get over it and you will move on. So that is it for this Ipsy OS tag. If you want to see other girls doing this tag, just look up the hashtag Ipsy OS. I will try to link what I can down below so that you can see other people's questions. And if you want to do this, then by all means, I mean, it's it's not just for us Ipsy OS girls. It's a tag that we started, but we want to include you. So I tag all of you to do this. I will list the questions down below. Don't forget, if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.